Hello everyone, how's it, how's it going tonight? Um, tonight I'm doing a VR for Darren, a return to collecting. Darren has a great channel over there celebrating a thousand subs. Way to go, Darren. Um, he's uh, got some fantastic cards. If you want to see some awesome vintage baseball cards, just check them out. And he also, also check out his top 50 baseball players of all time. Um, it's a wonderful series. I, I think I saw most of the episodes. I'm not sure. Um, but each and every one was a great one. And the great cards that he showed to go along with the player. He wants us to shout out three channels and talk about a card we're looking for in the next 12 months. All the channels I'm going to shout out, I'll put the address down below. Um, first one will be TJ is online. Um, he's uh, got a fantastic channel, fantastic vintage cards. Just a great guy to listen to. Um, check out his channel. And these, all these channels have less than 300 subs, and I think they need to have a lot more. They're just, I don't know why they don't have more. Maybe because they're fairly new, but. They're all great channels. The next one will be Jason at Everyday Card Collector. I remember him starting up and he's a great guy, has some great cards out of the Chicago area. Still haven't met up with him. I know we were at the National at the same time last year. We are at the YouTube get together, but we just didn't meet up. Um, there's so many people, these Nationals, but now I know who he is and what he looks like. I'll be able to meet up with him next time. Chicago 2025, I have my room booked there. So I'm ready to go. And uh, the next uh, channel I'd like to shout out is Warren D in CLE. Um, hopefully I'll get to meet him in the future, but he's got a great Cleveland based channel and uh, just a great guy to listen to. I recommend all three of these channels. I think you'll sub once you start listening to these guys. And uh, yeah, today uh, I went through my exhibit checklist. I've been doing some updating and I'm 60% done with the complete 47 through 66 exhibit set. But I still don't have a card of every player. There's some players will have 10, 11 different variations, but I still have 13 players I don't have any variations of, any cards of, and that's primarily my goal. I mean, it would be nice, here's a list here, it'd be nice to get that Bobby Richardson or Ed Cranepool $400 cards out of the way this year. Um, but once I get these 13 guys, I'll have at least one card of every player um, in some people's book, that's a complete set. Um, but I want to keep keep going. That's the set I'm going to work on in retirement. And um, here's another example of the, what the exhibits look like. Just in case you're new to the channel and you're unfamiliar with the exhibits, most of them are bike back, but some of them have red stats. Some of them have black stats. Those are from 62 and 63. This is a 63 stat back Roberto Clemente. So I'm uh, just started uh, our 21st season of our college football fantasy league. It's a keeper league. Um, you can uh, draft up to 16 players each year and, that, and then you can pick up a couple extra for the red shirts for the following year. I was down to 14, so I only got two draft picks this year. My first pick was uh, DJ Legway um, from Florida. He's He was the number one rated quarterback, so we'll see how that goes. I've, See number one rated quarterbacks not do so well in the fantasy league that I'm in, but 
it's fun. Been doing it 21 years. And also on my calendar is uh, next, uh, not this coming weekend, but the following, I'll be at Gold Rush Days in Rochester, Minnesota. It's a huge antique show. And I'm going to set up there. I'm going to be selling some cards and some pottery um, and a few other things. Interesting things. Get rid of a lot of uh, excess inventory that I have and keep concentrating on my exhibits. Keep concentrating on my old London set. So just enjoying the hobby. And oh yes, I was in Hawaii last summer, so I bought a few great shirts. And um, reminds me of last summer. Just walking along the beach. Um, several beaches that we walk along, I guess. Waikiki and just to name one. And um, thanks everybody for watching. And uh, congratulations again, Darren. I'll put your address and link down below along with... Uh, Tony and Jason and Warrens, and hope everybody has a great day. Thank you.